All right, it is about time I show you guys how you can remove the dock on iOS 13. So what kind of happened was I found this glitch on beta 1 and I was afraid to upload it because I didn't know if beta 2 was going to come out and it eventually came out and I didn't want to upload a glitch on beta 1 and have it not work on beta 2 but fortunately it works on iOS beta 1 and iOS beta 2 for iOS 13. Now real quick before we get started I know for a fact that this works on the iPhone 10. I'm pretty sure it will work on the iPhone 10s along with the 10R and any home button style device like this. Now if your device has an actual physical clicky home button, I'm pretty sure there is a workaround that should work because it has worked in the past, but I am not 100% sure. So I will be doing my best to make sure that it will work. I will get iOS 13 on my iPhone SE and I will leave a comment down below in the description or like, you know, in the comment section, letting you guys know if this glitch actually works on iOS 13 for home button devices. Enough rambling, let me show you the glitch. Okay, so after you check out my video on how to get Square folders, which will be linked down below, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can remove the dock in iOS 13. So, you're going to want to go to Settings, Accessibilities, tap on Motion, and then turn on reduce motion. Now you're gonna to wanna to turn on this other feature called prefer crossfade transition. Turn that on. You'll notice that whenever you swipe the home button, you can see that the animation has changed. So how do we remove the dock? Well, we're actually gonna be using an old glitch in the past, but that old glitch actually was the opposite of this one. So the old glitch actually required reduce motion to be turned off. Whereas this one, reduce motion has to be turned on. So you're just gonna wanna swipe down on the widget panel, and as you do that, swipe up as soon as possible, right? So swipe down and then swipe up, all right? So it's gonna be a little weird. There's one more thing you're gonna wanna turn off. You, that's gonna be under display and text size. You're gonna wanna make sure that increased contrast is turned off while doing this, and make sure that reduced transparency is turned off. And that actually makes a huge difference. That will prevent this from working. So you're gonna go here, swipe down and back up, and then boom instantly the dog has been removed. So that's pretty cool. But if you swipe to another page, it comes back. So I recommend having your most used apps on the first page of your home screen. So that way you can easily access them. And on top of that, you're not gonna wanna swipe pages. So I recommend having a folder, but it works when you turn on and off the device. Uh, so you can see like when I swipe up and down like that, boom. So you just wanna swipe down and then back up. It's very simple, down, up. So down, up, down, up, down, up, and it works 90% of the time. It's the easiest dock glitch I've ever found. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.